Well, hello my friends and welcome to the vlog. I figured I would vlog today. Do you guys like my rainbow right there? I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, but yeah, so I figured today would be a good day for a vlog. Sorry I haven't like been on my channel in a while. Um, for me it feels like a while, but I actually uploaded a couple videos last week. But anyway, I have some fun. I'm so excited I can't even talk. Um, I have some fun plans today. Miss Jody from Life's Organized Chaos is gonna come over today. We're gonna do some things, and then I am decluttering my whole entire house. Good times, right? Um, I have a organization coming tomorrow morning for a pickup, and I have some things already set aside, like people ask all the time, like, what is that? Not the white, not the white box thing, but that whole thing over there. That's all stuff for donations. So have some things piled over there. I have some other things kind of piled in my entryway too, but I don't want to take things outside because it is wet outside right now. So. Um, everything's gonna be going into like plastic trash bags anyways, but um, I just don't want to like leave them out You know what I mean? So anyway, all that stuff is going bye-bye. So yeah, I've been kind of just going through things and either creating a space for things or putting them in the entryway and then gonna put them in a bag and take them outside. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking about getting rid of these glasses like these glasses right here I have not used those glasses since I lived in North Carolina. Or not North Carolina, wow, that was a long time ago. North Dakota. Um, I've lived in North Carolina too. But I have these other glasses that I prefer, actually. Here's one right here. This has M&Ms in it right now. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I really like them and I think I'm gonna get rid of these tall ones and put the shorties in there. Cause my shorties right now, are kind of in my like miscellaneous cabinet, like all the way to the top. So I think I'm gonna do that, but I need to figure out, I don't have any like packaging materials or anything. So I need to figure out a way to like wrap them properly. And I don't get newspaper, or I don't have any like extra papers around. So I don't know, I gotta figure that out. But I do have some like cloth things that need to go into donations. I think I might be able to wrap them in there. So, or I don't know, we'll see about that. And I am enjoying my Coca-Cola, yum. And I think for lunch, I'm going to have some vegetables and ranch. You know, ranch. It's delicious. And we're gonna go for it. So I'll show you my lunch in just a second and I'll be right back. Doodle, what are you doing? Somebody found the Petco bag. Hey, what's happening in there? Hmm? That's for later, Doodle. It's for later, I know. Hey, hey, sir. The reason he's in this bag and why I even have it down here is I'm gonna be filming a video uh, later on today with Doyle about um, some of his favorite things. So get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. People like to ask um, what Doyle likes, like what his like go-to like food and treats and toys and stuff are. So I actually had to restock on a bunch of his treats. So I figured good time to do a video about it. So anyways, I am going to film that a little bit later on today. So anyway, I'm still not done with my lunch because Doyle interrupted me with all of his uh, shenanigans over there in the living room. So I'll show you my lunch in just a second. Alrighty, here's the lunch situation. I'm gonna finish my Coke. I've only had a few sips, but I'm gonna finish that. And I think I'm gonna wipe down my counters. They're just like, they've got like some little particles on them. So I'm going to just like wipe them down, do a quick refresh and do all that. Yeah. So I got the Doyle video done. Doyle was a very nice little active participant in the video. Right, Bobo? Oh, he's judging again. Anyway, so I got all of his new treats put in their proper places. So they're kind of in my little jars. If you guys want to see that video, I will link it down below because I believe I'm going to put that video up before this video because I'm going to get this thing done. Um, I think Jody is going to be here fairly soon. She said she'd be here about 1.30, but then texted and said, hey, can I come about 1.15? I'm like, sure, I've got nothing else to do. So um, it's about 1.09, and she is on her way, and I think, I think she's going to be coming with 
a McDonald's chocolate shake for me. <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> the perks of her working at McDonald's you guys like ah, oh, it's amazing But um, she's like hey, do you want like lunch? I'm like, oh, no, I just ate so oh well no big deal By the way since my last vlog I have not put up my skull. It is gonna go up though I I do want it to go up there. Um, I just need help doing it So yeah, cuz the skull is uh, kind of heavy and uh, I want to make sure I'm doing it right so anyway, it'll go up there eventually, but yeah Probably the next week or so. I'm just gonna wait for Miss Jody and just hang out. And I still haven't finished all my coke yet, so yay. All right, so I'm like a totally horrible individual. Like Jody literally just left and I forgot to film her. Ah, we were too busy um, doing computer things together. So yes, that, that's what we were doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take the Doyle on a walk for a little bit because he has been patiently waiting. Haven't you, bud? Oh my goodness, oh my goodnesses. Oh my goodness. Um, he's been patiently waiting. And um, every time he, or every time I get have a guest over, he constantly gives them his babies to play with, like all of his toys. Those were all put away earlier. Um, but he kept giving Jody all of his toys, which was kind of hilarious. So it's, it's like he's deprived here or something. But no, he just, he just likes to give people babies. I don't know. Right, Doyle? Um, weather is better. It's actually kind of nice-ish out. Um, it's still snowy, but uh, it's not snowing, so that's a good thing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna upload that other Doyle Dog video uh, this afternoon probably. It's a little past three o'clock. So I am going to work on that, first of all, and get that up hopefully before dinner time and then just kind of hang out for the day. I've got some uh, laundry going upstairs because somebody that guy decided to poop in the bed. Yeah. If you want a Sheba, that's what they do sometimes. Yep. Nobody said it would be fun, right? Right, Doyle? Doyle, did you poop in the bed? Yep, he did. He pooped in the bed. It's gross. But anyway, um, I'm going to go outside, take Doodle on a walk, and I will see you guys in a little bit. You guys are in my cabinet now. I just realized it's 7.20, yikes. Um, I published my video, the Doyle video, the Doyle food video, so that is up. Links will be below, I think I already said that. But I have been working on a separate project, which hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to announce it by the end of the week. I'm gonna do a video announcement when it happens, but um, I'm really, really excited and I've been kind of working on that behind the scenes for a while now. Uh, I know I've alluded to it in other videos, but I am like in the home stretch of getting things happening. I'm waiting on a couple of things to arrive and um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So one of the packages was actually supposed to be here on Saturday. It's not gonna be here until probably Thursday or Friday, but I got to look at it and make sure it's what I need um, for the project. And then if it is, hopefully, fingers crossed, then um, I'll be able to start announcing things. So I'm very excited. Um, anyways, I am currently making dinner. I am making some hamburger helper. Um, i am got my hamburger in the pan. <laughs> It's in a big lump right now, but um, I am going to get this started and yeah, um, I know a lot of people were interested in my, I'm like smushing my hamburger right now guys. Um, I know a lot of people were interested in my previous cooking videos. Um, I'll link those below if you guys are interested, but um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing like a hamburger helper thing but it's like dude it's hamburger helper like it's not that difficult so I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do anything on hamburger helper like how I do it I guess um, I'll say it again I know I've like in few guys watched my no spend you already know this but um, in my hamburger helpers I'm not like a huge meat eater um, I mean I eat meat but I was a vegetarian for a really long time which is weird because now I eat meat, but whatever. It was more of a texture thing for me, not anything else, but I kind of grew out of that, so whatever. And um, so in my hamburger helper, which is 
this bad boy right here. So in the hamburger helper, um, the noodles are like an elbow noodle. So what I like to do, since I don't really mind if it's not extra meaty, is I take some of these just regular elbow noodles that I got from the store, and I just I just pick the cheap brand because it doesn't really. For me, it doesn't make a taste difference compared to the noodles that are in here. They're about the same. Their width is a little bit different, so the ones in here are a little bit wider than these elbow noodles, but I'm sure that you could find the exact same ones, but I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. It just makes the dinner go a little bit longer, so um, obviously I'm single. Um, most of you guys probably know that if you've been watching my channel. but. Um, this, uh, you know, what would be maybe like two meals would last three, possibly three and a half meals for me. Um, but because this is the only thing I eat, like I, if I was eating it with like a vegetable and like other things, then it would probably last me a lot longer. But this is like, I just eat it and then I'm just done. Like I don't really want like seven things on my plate or even three things on my plate and I know that's probably like bad to say but it's fine I'm fine with it so yeah but obviously if I was like cooking a meal for a bunch of people then you know I would have a little bit more variety than just hamburger helper if I was cooking for anybody I probably wouldn't make hamburger helper let's be real here all right so it is now kind of like browning up and doing its thing um, I still have my Coke left from this afternoon, which is still kind of cold because it's like an aluminum can. So anyway, but yeah, I've been busy. And tonight after this, I still need to get my poop in a group and declutter stuff. Like, like I said, I have some things already like down here and whatever, but there are a couple of areas in my home that I want to go through. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then tomorrow I have this like job fair I'm supposed to go to. I haven't researched like who's at the job fair. So I need to do that tonight or tomorrow. It doesn't start until I think like one o'clock tomorrow. I think it goes from like one to three or one to four. Like it's really not a long period of time. But and it's like right down the road for me. It's just like a couple of miles away. So um, I haven't printed out any resumes yet. I don't currently have a printer, unfortunately. That's something I'm looking into getting for my home. Um, but my parents do it their summer home, so I can always just go there and print out what I need to. So yeah, but I don't want to like go there if there's not jobs that would be suited for me. So. I want to take a look and see what employers are going to be there and then it also has like a listing of what each employer is hiring for so I mean if it's going to be like working in a machine shop I mean that's fine but like I don't have those skills <laughs> so yeah or if they're looking for like welders or something like I'm clearly not a welder like I could probably learn but um it's a little off base for what I have been doing so I just want to make sure that things kind of like line up properly and I'm sure that there'll be something there to go take a look at but um you know I just don't want to like print out like 90 resumes and waste my time you know so if there's like three or four that I really want to go see I just want to like go see them and hand in my resume and chat with them a little bit about their company and organization and see where kind of like my skills would possibly suit them maybe do like a little mock interview or something like that because like legit you guys I have been searching for jobs high and low and I have not gotten one interview um, I've gotten several emails back saying that I was either overqualified underqualified or they had already filled the position so yeah which kind of sucks <sighs> but um, hopefully there'll be good things at the um, job fair situation hopefully mm -hmm. but and at this point, I mean, I'm like fine for a while, but I'd almost even consider like working somewhere part time if they had good benefits, you know? So just like depending on how many hours a week and what, you know, the job is and all that good stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Sorry if you guys keep hearing that noise. It's just I'm using my little meat masher guy and uh <laughs> breaking up 
breaking up all the meats. Breaking up all the meats. Because I'm almost ready to um, put all my other things in there. But anyway, give it, getting back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm almost at the point where it's like, you know, I almost might take something part-time if they offer benefits like, you know, medical, dental, and, you know, insurance kind of stuff as well as like participation in either like their 401k or um, like profit sharing or whatever that is. So um, I don't know, I'm just really not sure what the job there has to offer, but um, I've still been looking under like part-time stuff in my area too and I haven't been finding anything. So I don't know, I haven't really, I don't think I've applied for any part-time positions just cause nothing looked appealing. But um, you know, sometimes you just never know till you go in and something can seem like amazing and then it's just like really horrible too. <laughs> You never know until you get there. But in the meantime, I've been enjoying my time off and um, very excited to announce, hopefully by the end of the week. No promises, but I'm hoping by the end of the week because people in my life know about this thing. So they're even starting to bother me about it. Like, hey girl, like when is this happening? I need to know, I need to know now. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm getting there. <laughs> So, like I said, I'm waiting on other things to come in. So I'm just waiting. Waiting for other people. Not anybody I know, but just waiting for other people. Ah! Whoa. I got a rogue noodle. Delicious. Okay. Rogue noodles. All right. I am ready to put this stuff in. And what do I need? Milk and water. I'll go get that. I've got my milk and my trusty measuring cup here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another pro tip that I like to do is I don't like to put as much water as it says. I know that kind of like depends on your elevation. I'm in Minnesota where things are pretty flat to the ground. So I don't know, this says like a cup and a half of water. I'm gonna put one cup of water. So um, I don't know. I don't feel like it makes the dish any less good, I guess. And I would rather have a like thicker sauce than a like runnier sauce. So, but I know they make it, you know, they make the, whatever it's called. What am I trying to say? The directions for multiple different elevations. So yeah, oh, you got like dirty dishes on the thing here. Oh, this is dirty too, I think. I don't know what's happening anymore. And Doyle is patiently waiting for, you know, food. Can you see? That's always judging. Always judging, guys. Always judging. Oh, and by the way, Doyle, I'm just like rambling on. This is gonna probably be the end of the vlog anyways. Um, after we got back from our walk, because it was so wet outside, I had to take a, like, not a washcloth. Well, yeah, I guess a washcloth, but like a dry cloth and, um, take Doyle's paws and like, you know, get the moisture off of them and stuff. Cause they were just like really sloppy. He wasn't muddy, but they were just really wet. And so I like don't press hard on his paws because he hates like his paws being touched. Like he hates it. But I like grabbed one paw and I was just kind of, you know, lightly, you know, just trying to get the moisture out, just kind of putting some light pressure on there. And he like literally just like attacked my hand. just like, Rawr! I'm like, oh my God, dog. So yeah, Doyle was not having it when I started doing that to him. So um, he's been keeping his distance since. So now he's excited because, you know, food makes everything better. Right, buddy? Oh no, you can't have that. I have the like meat stirring thing <laughs> down. No, you can't have any. I'm sorry, bud. It's not for the doggle. No. Oh, he's a dog. Oh, he's a dog. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? Saying low battery. So anyways, we're gonna go. I'm gonna make the rest of my foods here and Doyle's just gonna watch because Doyle doesn't get any of the food. Sorry, buds. But if you guys are interested in what Doyle eats for food, I will leave that <laughs> video link below because I just filmed it and it's on my channel now. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the random vlog and I will see you guys hopefully soon. I'm gonna try to film a plan with me either today, or not today, tomorrow or the next day. So hopefully that will be up this week as well. I know I took last week off. I didn't really do anything in my planner last week. 
But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. You're going to say goodbye to your friends. They all love you. They love you so much. Goodbye, guys. See you later. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. <laughs>